Hi there, this is David and welcome to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV for the Nintendo DS. This is definitely a game from my childhood, although back then it wasn't called Dragon Quest, it was called Dragon Warrior, and it wasn't for the DS either, it was for the NES. And um, there are some differences between the two games. Um, most notably that in the DS version you can control your characters in the final chapter, which is something that really turned me off from the game as a kid. Um, I mean, there, there are some differences here and there, and I do like some things in the NES version better than the DS version. However, I will say that this is the definitive version of the game thus far, at least. I mean, the graphics are a whole lot better, although there are some issues with the translation, most notably some crazy accents. But if you can look past that, you'll find a great game. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is the beginning of the Zenithan trilogy. Um, that's Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6. They're all together as, a, um, as their own uh, trilogy there. The previous three games were the Erdrick trilogy, and we finished those Let's Plays up quite a while ago. And, um, because I'm gay, we're gonna go as a female. Why not? <laughs> That's really not the reason. Um, eh, females are just better in Dragon Quest games, we'll just say that. So this prologue right here wasn't actually in the NES version. This is new to the DS version of the game. Um, no! Oh, don't make a man out of me, or a woman out of me at least. Oh, okay. Yeah, so here we get a prologue chapter, which which was not in the original um, game. Ooh! And we also get tons of seeds laying around here too, which was also not in the original game. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. Ooh. Okay. Let's move on. Oh. Um, I don't want to. I want to loot your town. Who's telling me to come on over anyway? I don't see anybody. <laughs> Step on it, but not on me. Who are you? What's going on? Whoa! It's a little froggy. Jean? Is that you? I hope not. Jean sucked. Um, yeah? Is this a personality test? A princess? Oh. Should I just kiss you and make it better? What is it? Uh-oh. Yikes! Hop away! What a weirdo. Let's go chase after this frog. Man. What is going on? Oh, wait. Who are you? Oh, Eliza. Um... Okay. Am I going crazy? What is happening here? Morph. Whoa. Yeah, in the um, NES version of the game, that was called Transform. And I will say this, I am going to probably, more than likely, be using Dragon Quest and Dragon Warrior terminology interchangeably, because... I was raised on Dragon Warrior, and it's just so hard to change the habit. Oh, Bonnie! Oh, that's super cute. Carrots. Hair is looking at you. Yeah, there's a lot of puns going on. Um, puns were something that was added whenever Dragon Quest was... I don't know, I'm not going to say created, but whenever the game really started, um, I guess once Dragon Quest VIII rolled around, because Dragon Quest VII was still Dragon Warrior, but uh, puns were really definitely interjected into the, um, into the translation there. 
Oh. Okay. I'll pay no attention to you whatsoever. Then I'll just continue robbing you guys blind. Oh, the sizzle spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does look like it's getting kind of late. Get over here. The goddess forsaken village. I like the little touch there. Oh, is Eliza supposed to be my love interest? Or my best friend? I don't know. Sure, um, thank you for being hearty. That's just what a teenage girl wants, to be hearty and strong. Yeah. Wait, oh, I already talked to you. I'm, like, looking at the guy, and I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> huh, no books. This is something that I do like about this translation of the game. There are books um, interspersed around in various towns and stuff that either gives better background information about the game or just um, kind of fleshes it out just a little bit, and I do thoroughly enjoy that. I guess nobody staying at the inn, but he needs to clean up anyway. Can I just leave? Oh. Of course I do. Ah. Well, I guess I still need to go to more sword practice so I can get out of this tiny village. Rob my own parents, too. That's always a good thing. Anything here? No, there's nothing! Okay, anyway, let's talk to daddy you. Mother? Why are you calling her mother? Isn't that your wife? Maybe not. Maybe that actually is your mother. Maybe that's my grandmother. Who knows? Yeah? Oh. Oh! Huh. Strange and wondrous companions. Really? But then, then again, she calls him father. I don't know what's going on here. They have a weird family dynamic. Okay. I'll ignore you as much as I possibly can. But yeah, all that that we saw right there was completely 100% new in this version of the game. So now we're actually going to move on to where the NES version began in Chapter 1. Ragnar McRyan. Okay. And I believe in the NES version of the game, this was called The Royal Soldiers. And thus begins my issues with this game, the crazy translation. Simmer down. I imagine it's supposed to be Scottish, I guess. Irish. I don't really know. But, like, it is hardcore with this translation. And it does make it a bit difficult to read. But apparently mothers from Straithville came here and they're crying about their barns. Barns? I don't know. I watch Outlander, so I should know some Scottish. But not really. <laughs> okay, so basically find the kids. Whatever you do, report back to the king. Let him know. This woman comes around here whining about her kid too. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully he's still alive. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I hope so. Oh, well, thanks. And then people around here just pretty much just give me um general information on how to play the game. You know, if you get hurt, rest of the inn, buy medical herbs, um, stuff like that. But I'm still going to talk to him anyway, because that's what I do. Oh, yeah. 
And just like in Dragon Quest 3, there is a day-night system where uh, monsters will get more powerful, the encounter rate will go up at night, different monsters will also appear at night. And the towns will change too. So, let's see how. The Lord of the Underworld? Ooh. Wow, you guys are getting pretty heavy pretty quickly into this game. But let's check out this bookshelf. Oh, a history of Bonnie Burland. So this is what I'm talking about, about more flavor in the game, I guess. So yeah, in the NES version, there were no books like this whatsoever, but a special seal shield bestowed upon him from on high. Hmm. A shield from the heavens, maybe? We'll have to keep that in mind for much, much later on in the game. So you think that they're still alive, but they're kidnapped. Hope the kids are alright. Do my best. Oh. Huh, I hope not. Everyone's talking about the sky. What's going on there? I'm not! I'm just collecting information! Leave me alone! Uh-oh. Yikes! Looks like monsters are appearing day and night. Monsters that would normally appear at night are appearing during the day. They're already in Straithbale? Man, they move fast. Oh, no, a locked door. We'll have to come back for that, too. I wonder if we get Step Guard as well. Hey there. Hmm. I wonder. Get over here. I like how, you know, uh, Ragnar works at Berlin. This is his job. He's a royal soldier, and the soldiers are still like, oh, hey, this is Berlin, as if he had no idea. Oh, yeah, he's a nice guy. Okay, new to the Dragon Warrior series is that you now save at churches rather than with kings. So that's what the Chancellor is here to, uh, to tell you that. Hey there. Yeah, because before you would go to the king and he would give you all the experience that you needed to get to the next level, and they would drag on and on and on, and then you would finally save. And you could only do that whenever a king was available, or a queen, or whoever. Uh, but now that you could save at churches, that's so much nicer, because they scatter churches kind of throughout the land. I like it, it's just more realistic that way. Oh, okay. Oh, hey there, old man. Um, sure, if you want to. Hoots! <laughs> oh, yeah, but now he's going to kind of follow you around as slow as humanly possible. He's ridiculously slow. If you want to, you can buy some medical herbs or antidote herbs. You really don't have to, and I'm not going to. What I am going to do, though, is rob him blind. To get to Straithbill, I need to go to the Straithbill Burrow, then northeast whenever I get to the other side. Okay. And here we have some various armors that you can purchase. Um, I'm not going to waste my money on any of this right now. I will be upgrading my equipment whenever we get to Straithbill, because that's going to sell the best stuff in the chapter. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste my money on it. Oh. Oh, this is actually the uh, shopkeep, and he sits there and he talks with his wife whenever nobody's at the counter. That's kind of nice. I like that. Ooh, a leather shield. Sweet. Yeah. Um, okay, kid, if you say so. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and equip that leather shield. Raises our defense by four. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, this is another reason why I don't want to buy anything, because you're given a lot of this stuff. However, in the NES version, you're not really given much of anything. Like, hidden items? Like, there are hidden items, don't get me wrong, but they are few and far between. Battle records? Oh, really? Oh, hey, hey, awesome. Rob you blind, and move on. Hey there, lady. 
Angina? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, l l like I said, just the, the translation, figuring out what the hell's going on, it's just, I don't know, difficult. It's just needlessly difficult because of this translation. Although I will say, it gets exponentially better once you hit chapter 5. Um, the first four chapters really do have issues, but once you hit chapter 5, this stuff kind of goes away. So just be patient, and we'll get through to chapter 5 soon enough. So basically, this um, old lady is looking for her husband. He went missing, so we'll do what we can to find him, and also rob him, because that's what we do. Ooh, a seat of strength. Nice. And we're actually going to go ahead and use that. Aw, that sucked. Oh, one point. Come on. Should be able to get better than that. That was terrible. Another thing that you can do, you can use the L or R buttons to rotate the camera. I'm probably not going to do that too much, because it kind of disorients me. Um, and I have disorienting issues, but, yeah, it's there if you want to use it. Over here we have our weapon shop, and just like with the armor shop, I'm not gonna buy anything here. Um, there's just no reason to at all. Let's move on. Hey there. Okay, here at the church, we can save, we can revive our party members, we can divinate, which I believe means... What does divination do? Okay, so this is how many experience points you need to get at the next level. What does Benediction do? Okay, so that's lifting a curse. I don't need to do that either. Um, purification is getting rid of poison. I don't need to do that. So, yeah, basically I will be coming here to save and to resurrect. That's pretty much the real reason to, um, to go to the church. It's Berlin Toon. <laughs> well, we've made it onto the world map. And uh, we're going to go exploring and head off to Straithbale next time. I'll let's play Dragon Quest IV. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.